Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials. Uh, today I'm going to be checking out Blast from the Past. This is a uh, reveal and complete the Trials HD track. It's in the Meteorain track, which is the extreme track in the After the Incident DLC, Trials Fusion. Um, been asked to do a detailed tutorial. I've already done the challenge as you can see here, um, but somebody's asked for a detailed tutorial because it is actually arguably, I would say harder than Meteorain, but a very hard track. Um, it's kind of cool to have a kind of extreme track hidden in an extreme track. Anyway, uh, first checkpoint. What you want to do here, very reminiscent of Way of the Ninja from Trials Evolution. Uh, what you want to do here, firstly you need a bunny hop, uh, but the technique you want to get is to be leaning back and pretty much doing that. So bunny hop up, stay seated when you land, and then probably halfway up the ramp you want to flick your body weight forward, and it's all a matter of balancing I guess getting the throttle and the balance just right so when you lean your body, body weight forward you give yourself a bit of a spring to get up and over. Now you'll see here the bomb is strategically placed to make it very difficult for you to get up any other way. Um, I reckon if you tried to get on here, I just think it's going to take too long. I was going to say is there a, you know, I always look for consistent ways to do it. No. This is the technique. Bunny hop up. Uh, stay seated when you land, and then flick your body weight forward. Um, tricky. Thankfully, it's the first one. And then the best thing is to do there, if you can, just hop over that. Um, there is a, there is a. I'll go back to the start just so you can see it. What I did there was effectively just sort of if I time the hop right, hop on your back wheel, and just get up and over. There is another technique which, and it's really that you just have to respond to this, but where you sort of land on your front wheel here and then do a. Uh, bunny hop off it. Um, so if you find yourself overshooting it a little bit, if you can hit the brake um, on the front wheel, great. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's you'll find out what works for you. I think. Used to be able to do that. Lost some skill. There we go. So front wheel, uh, then do it, but stuffed it. There we go. Up and over. Checkpoint done. <clears throat> Next one. Um, rem to me, reminiscent of, uh, or I guess at least it's the technique used for the first checkpoint of Inferno Four. But the main the main trick here is that you don't want to run your front wheel up the ramp. Uh, if you try and you know if you lean forward and go up, you won't make the jump. If you try and you know lean forward it doesn't basically if your front wheel rides up this ramp you will struggle to get up this uh, gap here the technique then is you want to do a wheelie from the bottom ride up the ramp in the wheelie and about halfway through or even probably less maybe a third of the way through the bottom of the ramp you want to lean your body weight forward and look at that forward momentum you get so effectively you lift your front wheel up over the ramp and then transition your body weight to lean forward and you should be able to get yourself to this point I'd always stop here Give yourself a nice good run up and a nice confident bunny hop and I'm pretty confident what you need to do This is tricky because it's a sort of a multi-faceted, multi-part checkpoint here I think, yeah, so what, what you want to do here, so that little yeah, wheelie technique to get to this point Brake here, big bunny hop, keep accelerating and lean forward and usually that's enough to get you up and over So I'll just do that a couple more times that <clears throat> yeah, and you get up and over this one's tricky because I always forget to use this extra bit of the ramp here but they built it there for a purpose and you really should be using it um, the technique you want to do here is a nice big bunny hop but you see there you kind of go over it with your back um, facing the bombs um, what you'll find is if you don't approach the jump in that way um, there is a risk or greater risk that your rear wheel will clip it or your head will clip it So by sort of by doing that bunny hop and just getting the back wheel over it and sliding over with your sort of back facing the bombs It just makes it a, probably your it gives you the highest clearance over that bomb there The other important part is that you need to use all of this ramp because you want to land there to get a good run up on both of those platforms um, if you if you just just sort of just clip it here and get a bit of a slower ramp you just don't have enough gas to get up and over. So make sure you get a good bunny hop. Yeah, actually, so that is it. Hit that flat. 
and just not enough juice to get over it. So you really want to just make the jump as far, as far as you possibly can on the far side. That, accelerate 100%, and land here. Now, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to explain the technique there. I mean, the main thing is land confidently with your back wheel and just get that throttle control really quickly on. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I kind of stuffed that up. And again, they've put that pipe there to make this really difficult. So it's just a matter of timing. Um, try and land on the wooden part as best you can. Steady yourself and then just use that pretty simple technique. But just bear in mind too, there is a gap here, a very small one, but between the pipe and the next wooden platform. So just don't uh, creep over. Be, be confident, jump over here, get the checkpoint. This one, perfect recreation or near about. I won't say perfect, but all right. But going up, Trials HD. This thing gave people nightmares. Um, me too. <laughs> one of the uh, first tutorials I reckon I had to do was on this track for somebody. Um, what you want to do here, it's pretty straightforward. This is actually a lot easier on these bikes than it was in HD, if I'm honest. Um, lean forward. Try it again. Lean forward from here. Little bunny hop, and you should be able to just get your back wheel. Actually, you don't even have to lean forward. Just stay from a neutral position. And all it is, as you get toward this wooden piece, just uh, left, right. Actually, left, right, left. So left, right, left. Here you go. Left, right. Left, right, and left. Cool. So that'll get you up here. Let's do that once more. Yeah, so. There we go. You want to steady yourself on here, I think. And I think it's just a nice, confident jump and a good uh, bit of throttle control when you land. Uh... That should just be accelerate. Wow, okay. These are tough checkpoints, aren't they? I remember this now. Alright, so that gets you up here. This one, I just think you need to use all of the ramp. I don't think it is a particular technique. I just think it's important to use all the ramp. So really good throttle control to just reverse back. As far back as you can. Accelerate, land confidently with the back wheel, and then get your chassis up and over. As I just showed you there. Um, that technique again where you land sort of hard with your back wheel and then dig the uh, the body of the bike into the corner and then shift your body weight over. Such a common technique to get you up on a higher ledge so make sure you're aware of that. Next one. Um, this to me is a problem because of this bomb, right? Uh, ordinarily this wouldn't be too hard. There is... I really want to find a, a consistent and simple technique. Um, the trick here, if I recall correctly, is to just get yourself a little bit of a kick off the bottom one and then get your front wheel up and over. I can remember when I did this the first time. It was, it's just hard. So I don't think there's a... Like, I'd love, the, I'd love for there to be a way where it's like, oh, just go up here and then do a... Do a fender grab and... It's simple. Um, I think it's a matter of just timing two bunny hops really well. And, but crucially, big jump off the first one and dab a front brake. So basically what I did there, <clears throat> as long as you get the front brake up there, lean your body weight over, um, you'll be able to get up onto this thing. So, look, uh, it's, it's, that one's really tough to do well. Um, it's just it is just two bunny hops, um, but you want to just get really good um, grip onto that bottom tire to get you up and over. So I don't really know if I can repeat that for the purpose of the tutorial. Inevitably, when I say that, people say, "Why don't you do a detailed tutorial on that checkpoint?" So if you need it, ask me. But that's the technique. This one here, um, I think I leant forward to get up to this. I don't remember now. Yeah, it's such a... Ah, oh, that's what it is. So lean forward here, bunny hop, and then sit down over the back of the bike to bring the rear wheel up and over. Um, this next section... Well, actually, I want to just do a little a little discussion firstly on round objects. Um, one of the key things to think about on a round object is you don't ever want to be too far over this way, uh, like over to the uh, front of the thing. So the, where you want your rear wheel to be taking off from is round about sort of this location. So it's, it's sort of the middle of the left-hand upper quadrant of the tire. 
um, that just means that your front wheel's in the best position, you're going to get maximum grip, because there's really only a small usable part that I'm riding on now of a round object that you can really get grip off and still get you up to a higher ledge. So keep that in mind. Um, be back here, confidently sort of back here, uh, and then with a little bit of throttle control, bunny hop, but don't go over. I, t I found with this one that you had a tendency to go... So you can actually, you can recover from here, I think, and just roll backwards slightly, and then accelerate up. I tend to find if you go over here, you're 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 stuck. So if you find yourself going over it, take that again. Try and just get to the top. Yeah. So if I think if you go there, it's sort of the point of no return. So what you want to do is get up and over here. Try again. You kind of just want to confidently get to the top of that and then over to here. So yeah, try and bounce on that top of that rear wheel, on the top of that wheel if you can. Um, it'll get you up and over. This one... I want to just find the consistent way if I can. Okay, so this is another one of these ones that are perfectly designed to make you go vertical. So let me find a way, because I'm pretty sure the two ways to approach this is the fender grab, or there's just a technique where you tap your brake. There we go. All right, that's the fender grab. All right, so it turns out Just experimenting for a moment. Um, all right, let me try firstly. So let's try and settle yourself down here. Actually, let's just try the slow approach. Nah, so it's, it is properly vertical. So you're not gonna just go up slowly. But you may be able to. Yeah, so I think the slow approach is viable. Let's have a look. You can just get the speed right to probably 40% power. Let go at the top. You might be. Uh... Yeah, all right. All right, well, the way I'm finding the, the defender grab most consistent is to sort of. is to sort of. Bunny hop over, so you sort of forward. And that's it, it worked. Okay, um, <clears throat> sorry, that took me a second because I just wanted to try and figure out the right way to teach you guys. Um, the way that I'm finding it simplest is to just sit down over the bike, accelerate. Wow, yeah, that's all it is, wow. Okay, so as you accelerate from here, you push hard to the left and accelerate. And, well, actually, yeah. Yeah, okay, so as you come over here, just push to the left. You don't actually hold to the left, and I think that's crucial, right? So accelerate hard and just tap to the left. And then, yeah, wow. Okay, so from here, accelerate, tap to the left, and now forward. It's all about the timing. Um, probably, what's that? Half a second? So it's forward, back, forward. All right, up and over. Back, forward. Back, forward. Back, forward. So it's, it's really the, it's really even the timing. But there's a, there's a sweet spot just there. Wow, so sorry, this is taking me longer than I expected, but there's a sweet spot just there where if you get it right, and it's pretty much as your bike goes up that, as you as you get to the edge of that, sort of as you get to like really steep. So as you get to like here, you want to push forward on the, uh, on the bike. And what that will just do is just keep the rear wheel pushing along. And then there's two ways. So if you overshoot it, yeah, right, so tap left, Push forward. Now, if you're up here, you can go front wheel. If you can, if you can get it, 
If not, it's a fender grab. So back, forward, no, back, forward, power on up. And then actually, you know what? It's back, forward, and then probably just ease off the accelerator. Yeah, that's that's the trick. Alright. Wow. Mass. Oh, is that it? Okay. <clears throat> so it's probably worth me spending a bit of time on that last checkpoint because that is a tricky one. But that's, <clears throat> excuse me, absolutely the technique yeah, that uh, you want to be using. So it's just a little tap to the left. And as you get almost vertical, press to the right, ease off the accelerator maybe 80% of the way up. And uh, that should get you up and over. Anyway, um, let's call that the end of my Blast from the Past tutorial. Hopefully you found that helpful. Scouse, scoo, scooby dooby gorilla. And uh, yeah, if there's any other challenges or uh, videos or anything you want to see, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.